unfortunately, he doesn't feel doesn't feel comfortable today, so he won't come here by himself. So he invites Doctor Guo Ying Wang to help him to share his research with all of us. So let's welcome Doctor Wang. Um, good morning, everyone. I would like to give you again a very warm welcome to our second day of the workshop. And uh, the third presentation uh, this morning, um, according to the schedule, is by the Mr. Huang, as Xin uh, just mentioned. But because Mr. Huang is not ill, so he is in the hospital for the moment. So he apologized very much that. Um, he is not able to to come here to share um, his papers and uh, most of all his love for this country with you. However, um, he sent me the data, so I will run the slide uh, for you uh, this morning. Um, these data are all prepared by Simon. So that's a uh, Mr. Wang's English name, Simon. And uh, here also contain the detailed contact information for him. So he is a personal green uh, companion. So a small party, a small person, but can make a difference according to the Naomi's. So I think that's quite encouraging. And actually, personally, uh, myself, um, I'm very, very impressed uh, by what he has been doing. So I will go through um, his titles. The title he said is The Future You Want. Uh, uh, in this presentation contains lots and uh, lots of slides, so I invite you to sit back and uh, to, to go through uh, the data please try to show us. So um, this is say no uh, to uh, plastic. <coughs> say no to plastic. So he is here and I walk on the beach areas. So uh, we all know that uh, we got a lot lots of a nice uh, seafood because we are an island country. So she, this is a picture uh, taken by him. She does the uh, shrimps and crabs and uh, this kind of lobster and the seafood and the crabs. <coughs> and also the memories of the seashells. Uh, when we walk along the seaside, you can see this, the shells uh, on the seaside. They are all very beautiful and also uh, out, out in a wonderful time with family to go to uh, seaside areas to play. And also to go out with friends and even girlfriends and boyfriends to see the windmills, those um, lovely things. And uh, to see the sunrise. Uh, these are all the pictures taken by him uh, in the Taiwan. And also to see the sunset. Uh, very beautiful. So you can see him uh, himself here. Right. And, right. and uh, we want to see a uh, seaside with no plastic. So the point here, you want to see a clean water, and you can see we are uh, very, very beautiful. We are privileged, and we thank God to have this very lovely uh, place. So the start of my journey, and uh, to document uh, the cost, uh, it took him two years uh, to make a very detailed record of these countries. And uh, in the seaside, there are also signs saying that too many you can't do, uh, so that is far away from the oceans. So those uh, signs uh, post here. So okay, now that is the method of his his work. Uh, you see the red line here indicate the the route of his uh, traveling from the northern part of Taiwan all the way uh, along the western coast down south. So it took him ninety days from the first of September. Uh, last year until the 31st of November. So he walked a very long distance uh, with uh, 25, 28 kilograms back uh, with him. Uh, he took 15,000 photos. And I would like to say that uh, because of his hard work and the document and the data he collected has also appeared in the China television, Donghua Densetai. So that's a also raise uh, a lot of concern to the people. So uh, the topic he wants to present uh, has been categorized into this um, category, including the ocean debris, the hazardous waste pollution.
pollutions, the industrial water pollutions, the habitats, those, okay, and also the retrogression of the coast. <coughs> the first is the ocean debris, right? So you can see here in these photos, the number shown here are associated with the location where he uh, took these pictures. So in these pictures, um, you can see loss and the loss of the plastic. Um, I, I, these are a striking contrast uh, between the very clean uh, seaside area we used to have um, in our memory. <clears throat> and uh, here is a site in Tainan area, so you can see a lot of debris, some are from the natural uh, source and uh, for the last and the last of the plastic um, shown here. And again, this is um, the area in the central Taiwan. You see in the uh, seaside fence, lots of plastic bag, and uh, also the plastic bottles uh, being stuck in here. And this is the meal. So this is an irony, a uh, shark contract uh, between uh, uh, these uh, two modern uh, materials. And also again in the Zhangfa area, so you see lots and lots of the garbage being dumped uh, along the seaside. <coughs> and uh, in the Miaoli uh, seaside area, you can see lots of the plastic bottles floating um, on the waters. And the Pintong area as well, so even in the town south, uh, you see this kind of uh, things. This is um, in the yeah, Xinchu area, area. This is close to the our area and National Central University. So we see, again, a lot, and a lot of the plastic material um, stay there. Right. Um, it's very heartbreaking uh, to see that. And again, in the Taoyuan area, um, the plastic, and also in Taoyuan Guanyin uh, area, um, you, can see, uh, you can see also the remoteness. Uh, on the background, there are some meal here in the Xinzhou area. Right, and uh, you go north to the Tanshui Bali area. Again, <coughs> this is the Xinzhou area as well. So we can see that um, again in the Taoyuan Guan areas, lots and uh, lots of plastic have been dumped um, into the uh, beach area or maybe into the, or the river. In areas. Again, in the, um, in the also in the Pindong, uh, Dongma areas. So the first, uh, the second, next, we will have, have a look on the hazardous uh, waste pollutions. Um, those are the pollutions uh, produced by the factory uh, production in their uh, production process, and uh, they uh, dispose their waste um, directly into the river. And then those rivers go into the ocean and deposit on the beach areas. So they are not going to go anywhere and never stay here. So you can see, uh, again, the number he shown here are uh, associated with uh, these locations. And the different color um, here indicate the different uh, materials. So as you can see here from the uh, different uh, color. So um, this includes uh, garbage slag. The black color and also the furnace dust uh, from the machine is from the generator, yes, from the generator and uh, the furnace slack and uh, also um, those uh, again from the uh, electro printing uh, sludge as well. So they are all dumped um, in the beach area. And uh, again, in the Zhanghua area, you see that uh, the, the color of the seaside has been. Uh, severely contaminated uh, by those uh, industrial waste uh, material in this site. And we also know that this site is a very heavy industrial area, the Changbing uh, Industrial Park area. Uh, and this is uh, in the northern part of Taiwan. And again, you see the different color as uh, is seen here from these photos. Right. <coughs> um, yeah, so here are the, again the indication of the site. Um, showing that um, this material. The third is about the industrial water pollution. So um, the industrial park, um, uh, in Taiwan we got about 100 industrial park uh, area. And this 
industrial park concentrate um, the factory in a very negative area to enhance the economy uh, production of the goods for the people. But uh, the um, waste disposal into the river and then the river flows into the ocean, so yeah, produce um, lots of the uh, waste waters. As you can see here, this is a uh, brown uh, color uh, river uh, flow into the ocean, and you see the black color here. And also, you can see a quite uh, significant difference right uh, between the water here and also the past. And, uh, all right, yeah. Um, how do you say this in English? Oyster. Oyster. Oyster, oyster. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, normally, yeah, you, uh, we expect to see oyster in white color, right? Or oh, silver, but you see this green oyster. I see the documentary called okay, Copper. Yeah. Copper, right? There's Canada, the professor did not mention it. And then contaminated by copper. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to eat. Uh, this kind of oyster. Uh, me myself is a love, it's a love for the oyster. I love oyster very, very much. Uh, but uh, oh, not only one, but you can see uh, lots of the, the oyster in this cup, in, in, in this cupboard. And then the oyster have no choice right, to take the nutrition from the water in a water contained cupboard. So you, uh, the departing showing up this kind of thing. You see that? So there's a contract, right? Okay, this is a, the, a normal oyster. This is a green oyster. This is not an oyster from the outer space. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a heartbreaking to see that. Oh, uh, this, this is in Kaohsiung, and the southern part of Taiwan, the Kaohsiung, Xiaogang area. So, uh, the water there is actually uh, polluted. We need to do something to clean this up. Uh, so his data, oh, okay, see uh, Mr. Huang is here. Uh, also, he's not able to show up, but we can see his, uh, very, his effort. It's uh, appreciated uh, here. Um, he's a PhD student uh, in Zhongxing University. He majors in uh, biotechnology. But he dropped out of school as a sort of temporary. Yeah. So uh, that's good. So we take this data. Um, so, right, yeah, so it's all like two plastic. We see all uh, this kind of plastic things uh, associated. Uh, with our life, and we can see all the materials, and uh, the materials end up um, in this place, which uh, we just turn our face away. Uh, we uh, pretend we don't see it, but it is not going to go uh, unnoticed. It just stay there. So I think, you see, there's a garbage uh, mountain. Garbage mountain <laughs> in the seaside. <laughs> And we hope someday the nature will take care of us. <laughs> that's, that's unbelievable to put a country mountain in the seaside and then pretend the nature will clean it up for ourselves. <laughs> so, you see, the, the country mountain, so we can maybe see this is a, in, in the year of 1960, 70, 80, or so. We do some analysis. <laughs> but the most important thing is it's not going to rot in a way, it stay there. Not uh, biodegradable. Biodegradable, hopefully, but not. <laughs> according to the legend, this should be biodegradable. <laughs> but according to the real life, <laughs> it stayed there you know, for uh, the long times. So, yeah, so you can see this kind of things. Um, and uh, uh, lots of uh, the industrial park area now focus on the just coastal area. So the touching, right, okay. So we all need responsible for this. this. So we are responsible uh, for this. Uh, so this, uh, he showed here a picture in in the media area, uh, which accounts for Formosa, Formosa Industrial Park. Uh, in this park area, produce a quarter of the carbon dioxide emission each year from Taiwan. And uh, so right, yeah. So the carbon emission per capita in this area. Very high. Yes. Uh, so he uses a plastic he has collected <laughs> in the sea area to uh, reduce what? Reduce. 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 Reduce.
you, you do it now in textbook. Uh, go to your field, do it. Yeah. So see the fish net. Uh, to fish, uh, no fish in the fish net instead of the uh, last, last of the garbage uh, in here. And also a type of stuff uh, by eating too much plastic. Also, when I see the film, it's, uh, I was shocked by this thing. So you see the turtle upside down, and there are plastic in the mouth of the uh, big turtles. I, I don't know we have uh, such a big turtles in Taiwan. Yeah, but it's very, uh, you can see those areas. And also the, the inland encroachment of the sea waters due to uh, the change of the uh, sea levels. Yeah, you can see in the town area as well. So the road used to be, uh, the sea used to be far away from the pavement. But now the sea goes inland. So you can see the collapse of the, this uh, pavement here. Uh, this is in the Indian areas, uh, in the Kaohsiung areas where see the house uh, now uh, flooded by the sea waters. <coughs> right, so uh, this uh, should be uh, beautiful. So Taiwan is beautiful, isn't it? it yes, Taiwan is very, very beautiful. And uh, more picture. Um, and uh, he want to say that uh, because we see the hope, so we insist, uh, persist to do it. And the reason for that is because uh, we must persist because we want to see the hope. Yeah. In pursuing um, the, this, the cleanup of this environment. Okay, so that's all I have to do this presentation for Mr. Wang. So let's thank him for his hour.